ュリフトエルアンチサーチス手立ては不要だ All right, what is going on, guys? Five Wolves back again, coming into the showcase on Quincy Stern Ritter Uryu. <laughs> Long time coming. Now, actually, like I feel like this character gets way too much hate. Like I get he has range collision, but like goddamn, bro, everyone like hates this character. Anyways, uh, Stern uh, Quincy Stern Ritter with Soul Reaper Killer, uh, Spiritual Pressure on the last slot, Max Transcended. Oh my goodness! All right, how much Spiritual Pressure are we actually rocking on this character? Like it's over four thousand. Yeah, it's like 4,560 spiritual pressure. I hope I did my math right. A spiritual pressure at 30, 30, 30 across the board, along with 1,966 attack and 2,157 focus. Uh, strong attack recharge and then recharge links across the board along with a Zeta Ball. Now, I think that the Zeta Ball is actually going to be kind of important for this character simply because since he does have a lot of range collision, you kind of need to hit those underground enemies, otherwise you're going to be... Otherwise, honestly, it's just not going to... I feel like this character just doesn't work without... Oh, man. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, if you're not transcending your audio, he's not going to perform all that well. Uh, he does definitely need a, at least a SP level 5 so that he can actually start putting in work. And an SP level 10, honestly, I think I think he's just fine. Oh, let me not do a times 5 run. I don't know. I don't want to burn his tickets. He has max tickets. Uh, so shout out to Jay. I appreciate you allowing me to do this showcase on your Uryu. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's just get right into it and see exactly what this guy can do. Now, I ideally would like him to just like pop. Yeah, like everything just dies in one hit. Um, so that's like the one thing that I don't understand. Like people are like, oh my god, Uryu is so bad. Like, but he pretty much one or two shots. And since he has frenzy, he's going to two like he kills them in one shot anyways, you know? And if you have him, like, max transcended, this dude's borderline, like, immortal, right? So, I take damage here. Uh, not these enemies. Trying to... Yeah, you see, like, he would confuse me, so he confuses himself. And then you just infinitely heal. Now, we're not even using... Like, we're using a fortification pill and a hollow bait, so we have a lot less stamina than we normally would. But, like, I'm healing more than I'm actually, like, taking damage, which is really, really good. And then his third strong attack is a 1200 radius third strong attack. That's amazing. <laughs> And then with the Zeta Ball, you can grab everyone with the Vortex. Your Nat has Guard Break also. So, like, a Max Transcendent Uryu, like, I get that it's, like, unrealistic, but if you manage to get something like this, bro, you borderline have an immortal character. And he does what you need him to. Um, actually, that doesn't deal status ailments. I'm trying to, like, get status ailmented. Status ailmented. Oh, that, those were the perfect enemies for that. Oh, look at that. No, oh, they don't poison? I remember them poisoning. Let me just get a little frozen real quick. So counter, just fully heals. So if you want to run full stamina damage boost, you can. Since he's max transcended, I've opted uh, without it. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? Let, 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 let's do that with that. Um, One thing to note is if the enemy, uh, if the boss does have an ultimate with a status ailment, you will literally... You'll literally heal more than you actually take damage. Like, if I actually go to something along the lines of... Alright, so one thing to note is, like, if the boss has a status ailment, it'll literally counter and you'll heal up all that damage. Now, this, uh, Kampachi is gonna... Bring it down for us. He's gonna die. I'm gonna heal up. And you'll see that we actually countered him completely. And we're fully healed. That's actually kind of beefy, no? <laughs> like, I get that that'll be done for, like, single player. Um, for co-op, the bosses have, like, insta-kill mechanics, so I wouldn't really advise you try to do it against them, because the, it will not work. Um, yeah, but aside from that, he does his job very, very well. Uh, we're going to switch into a Senkaizen build uh, and see what he can do there, and then we're going to mess around with... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with the enemies. We're not going to keep our full stamina damage boost on 100% of the time because I do want to mess around with his heal quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to go here. Boom, baby. Look, look at the damage. Oh my god. And we were able to get it all the way over there. Do you give a status on it? No, you do not. So 18,000 when we're not fully healed. Keep that in mind. Okay. 
Oh, they're dead. <laughs> Okay, we get fully healed. Yeah, and what's cool is like if none of the enemies actually have a status ailment on their attacks, then you just have your ultimate. <laughs> like, I, I I get where people are coming from where like this character is, he's not going to clear as fast as like say some other characters, namely Soifon or Stark, but... Consistency is kind of key here. Boom. Like keeping all your oh my god. I, like I, I don't get it. I don't, I I don't understand the hate. I understand the hate of range collision, but like the, the character himself. I don't know about that, chief. Like being fucking immortal sounds pretty damn good to me. Third strong side kill? Not quite. We could dodge the special. Oh, we didn't fully dodge it. Oh, look at that. Stark literally did exactly what he did in the anime. Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Feels bad. Alright, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, like, other than this character is pretty damn beefy. Like, I, I get it. I get that a lot of people don't like the range kill. I, I keep saying that, right? But at the end of the day, not having to, like, literally never dying, especially in something like co-op, because, like, you can just manipulate, like, you can literally go... What, uh, Tension Tie, uh, Zeta Ball. You don't have to use a Fortification Pillar or Hollow Bait either. You could probably just go make do with like the Strong Attack Damage item, and that way you keep a crap ton of your stamina. So that way, when you take damage, you just heal it all back up and you don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna come back here. Oh, nice. And I was actually even getting attacked by the bigger enemies, but since we heal so damn much. We're still fully healed. Honestly though, I will say this, that the main reason that he's actually saved as a character is because he was given a Berserker 40%, Havoc 20%, and Guard Break. If he didn't have those three skills, and I mean all those skills, I think that he would be trash. Like, I'm not even joking, he'd be pretty damn bad. But the fact that he actually has everything is really good. <laughs> and then, yo, like, it could, you can have your own opinion, whatever you want to call it. But, like, it is what it is, bro. You just toss Stark to the side like a simple horror, bro. GG. Oh, no. You, you, you go back to your corner, bro. <laughs> go puppy. But, uh, I mean, I guess I will leave it at that. I mean, uh, there's not really much else left to say. The fact that he can counter ultimates, though, is pretty nice for single player. But for co-op, like, being able to just stay at full health for, like, a full stamina damage boost build, or just, like, understanding that if you get hit mainly by the hollow enemies with, like, the ice cubes that would normally borderline one-shot you or paralyze you to the point where you could die, like, the spinner enemies from, uh, from IZ for the Soul Reapers, bro, because you do have Soul Reaper Killer, right? And how, how many Soul Reaper Killers, uh, excuse me, how many Soul Reapers here actually have a status element, right? Uh, he doesn't have a status on that. Yeah, so here's a weakened enemy. Okay, now he's weakened. There's the confusion enemy over there. Um, that's not a soul reaper, but whatever. Uh, there's a burn enemy. So, like, if you stand in the puddle of fire, you get healed up too. You actually get healed up a lot here. So, yeah, you just get healed up all the time. So... Being like, if he had poise, bro, I think he'd actually be really broken. <laughs> Yo, if they gave him poise, I think he'd be busted because then you could just walk through the flames and not worry about it. And I did get one comment which I was actually kind of upset with because, like, it was just like the stupidity of the person was just like mind boggling. Look at that. I failed to dodge, it was able to confuse everybody that was around. That's all that's awesome because, like, whoever gets hit by it, like, say the enemy spins around and would confuse you. He confuses himself, and then anything that's in his radius, since he's confused, he hits his own allies, and then they get confused too. <laughs> yeah, but this guy said, Uryu is bad because whenever I do IZ, I step in the puddles. 
Don't step in the fucking puddles, you dumbass. Like, no. Bro, how are you going to blame a stage hazard that's literally just completely standing still, bro? That's a you issue, bro. That's a whole you problem. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Alright. His nat is still trash. That range collision nat is pretty dookie. I I I'll admit that. Kind of sad that I, I haven't been able to just take damage by one of my little homies. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get fully healed. Heal me! I'm trying to, like, not take damage from these people, but, like, take damage from... Hey, look, I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're over there. I got you. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I don't know. I personally find this character hella fun. Um, Would I, like, go out of my way to 5 of 5 him? Personally, no, but, like, should you get lucky and get him 5-5 or if you go for 5-5 it's not a bad option being immortal you know what i'm saying but uh, i'm gonna leave it at that you know guys grind on catch up him if stay blessed i wish you the best luck here some is yo uh shout out to jay thanks for allowing me to showcase this beast <laughs> and uh yeah and I, I don't know man let me know what y'all think in the comments below M maybe i'm gassing him up a little too much but like having him like this dude max transcended and being able to just go full hollow bay fortification pill and still have like what was that 1700 uh stamina and then if you want to go with the captain's code you can go with the captain's code but personally i think the zeta ball is kind of necessary for this character especially with the range collision uh and the vortexes like being able to catch the underground enemies is pretty damn clutch but uh yeah i'm gonna leave it at that stay blessed y'all i'll see y'all in the next one peace